Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic, and today we're diving in and exploring and making art of sharks. And did you know that there are over 500 species of sharks? And sharks vary in all shapes and sizes, and mostly they are cold blooded creatures. Woo! Chilly. Um, sharks can also be found in oceans all over the world. And I think that sharks are really great at capturing both our fear, but also our hearts. So let's dive in and make some shark artworks today in this episode. Let's make some art. Art, let's look at some different types of sharks. There is a bull shark, a whale shark, a tiger shark, the great white shark, and my favorite, the hammerhead shark. <sighs> Majestic. All right, so now we're gonna head on over to the art studio because there we're going to be drawing a happy hammerhead shark. Yeah, a happy hammerhead. Um, but also, after that, after we get warmed up for drawing, we're also going to make an artwork of a tiger shark. I know, it's so exciting, right? It's very, very intense. So much sharking is happening. So let's get on over to the art studio, grab something to draw, something to draw on, and let's make some art. Make sure you head on over to artastickids.com where you can access my Artastic Kids membership that you can stream on any device, anywhere, anytime. Hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home. Perfect for families and classrooms. All right, let's do a happy hammerhead shark. Woohoo! All right, let's do its head first. It's a little bit trickier. We're gonna draw one line. Second, with a little gap in between, we're gonna have a wavy line on either side, and then we're gonna draw a circle just on the one that's closest to us. We're gonna add a little smiley. And then we're gonna connect like this. And then a line along the bottom. And we're going to draw a big and a small circle in the eyes. Color in the dark of the eyes, leaving those smaller circles white. And next we're going to draw a line that comes from the head around towards the bottom. fast, just hit pause on the video and hit play when we're ready to continue. And I'm going to add some gills. And I'm just going to add some dashed lines. And 
that once you're done, you're ready to color it in using your favorite colors and art mediums. Just like that, your shark is done. All right, let's make our great white shark. Let's do... Now I can't remember if I said I was gonna do a great white or a tiger shark. Now if you want it to be a tiger shark, you know what, I think I've... I forgot the tail. Okay, new piece of paper. Let's do a tiger shark. Lying down, and then up, nice and high. I started talking, I got distracted. <sighs> big curve. You gotta say it in that voice too. Big curve. Cause it's a big curve. <laughs> Curvy line in the front. Back, and up. We'll add a dorsal fin. And then we'll add a fin on the body. So we'll add two lines. And then add a fin. And then we'll add the belly. So we'll bring another line over. And then we'll add the gills. Add a zero, I mean a circle for the eye and a circle. And add an eye, leaving a little bit of white. I can't remember if I said I was doing a tiger shark or a great white. Still can't remember. Okay, so if you want it to be a great white, here's what we're gonna do. If you want it to be a great white shark, you leave it at this and you paint. If you want it to be a tiger shark, add some stripes with some curving triangles. And now it's a tiger shark. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna paint mine like a tiger shark because it has stripes, but if you want to paint a great white, paint it uh, without stripes. Now if it's a great white, do it nice and blue, bright, but if it's tiger, let's do it some tiger colors because why not? Let's just have fun. It's art. So I'm going to paint with orange or you might be doing blue. And I'm just using temper paint with a little bit of water to make it move easily, but you might want to use watercolor paint and you use what you got.
I'm gonna paint the belly yellow. I'm gonna paint the stripes. Just like that, your tiger shark, or maybe it's a great white shark, is done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and take me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.